So to create the part for this to crush against, I'm going to start with this blue link. So I'll go and open up the ground link. And I'll spin this around. And I'd like to extrude this face right here. So I'll identify the face and pull that out 18. Now I'd like to sketch on this face, grab the link, and go to Sketch View. And I'll just start right here and create something similar here. And here's the face it's going to crush against. And so I'll go and push that down. Maybe we can just mirror it, that'll be close enough. Do a symmetric option here and push that out. And I'm going to go down and identify this point right here. Now I'll go back and close and return. And let's run that again and just see what we've got. Go back to simulate motor and hit play. Now I'll see, where would I like this face when it crushes against it? This face should be in a better position than that. So how do I figure that out? Let's go back here, and I'm going to do something a little tricky here, just to help me out. Turn off my coordinate system there. I'm going to go to Planar Align. I'll select Planar Align. I'm going to put a constraint on here, on this link right here and right here. I'm going to push that out. If you look at what just happened, that's the maximum distance that that is going to extend. And so I really need this face right here to be similar to that with just a gap in between there. So what I might do is come over here to parallel. This is a face relate command. And I'd say I'd like to take this face, green check mark, and face relate to this face and green check mark. When, when whatever goes in here, that's where it's going to get crushed and we can adjust that accordingly. Now what happens if I go back here to simulate motor? It won't run. It's like, well something's wrong. If I hit OK, it's like, nope, nothing's going to work here. And the reason why I still have that constraint on here. So if I go back to this link right here, this won't run because it's over constrained. There's that constraint that's running on those two faces. I'm going to identify and hit delete. So now that's gone. Now if I go back to simulate motor, this should run OK because it's not over constrained. And I'll hit play. And there's the motion to get it to crush against that.